subscribe to our channel click on bell icon you never miss any update so now let's begin with the configuration of selenium we can call it as a configuration or i can call it as installation normally installation is not a valid term we need to use configuration because Selenium is a API. Selenium doesn't have any exe files to execute. It doesn't have any exe files normally. It's simple API which should be configured in your Eclipse. That we'll see as we go into the subject. But this configuration has been split into three parts. Step one is installation and configuration of Java. Step two, downloading Eclipse. Step three, downloading your jars and adding them to your project so we'll see these three steps and let's follow step one installation and configuration step one now before going to the step one first let's check that whether java is installed in your machine or not if java is already there there is no need to perform the step one directly you can go to the step two okay let's see whether the java is installed or not in your machine for that, let's go to the command prompt. Just type as cmd in Windows machine and type as java space iPhone version and just click on enter. Here we can see it. Java version 1.8.0 something is there, right? Java TM SE runtime environment we have some information here so you need to get this assume that you don't have this Java version or you don't have Java installed then it will throw an error message saying that Java iPhone version is not an internal or external command right yes so if suppose you have received a message saying that Java is not an internal or external command then you can think that Java is not installed in your machine and you need to install the Java for that just go to Google and type as download Java or Java JDK the first link you can see that it is from Oracle yep you can just take it java sc download and here we have java jdk 9 and uh, java netbeans jdk 8 you can just take this java jdk not netbeans just take java jdk just accept the license depending on your operating system go ahead and download it if you are working on mac download this if you are working on windows download this so if you don't want to have ninth version you just even you can take uh, eighth version also here java jdk just accept the agreement and depending on your operating system you just download it once downloading it and after installing that you need to download and install it after downloading and installing just go to your C drive C drive and uh, go to program files go to Java you need to get this two folders JDK and JRE this two folders if you can this if you can see these two folders it means you have successfully downloaded Java but that's not enough you need to configure it you need to give the information to the system where your Java environment is there right so for that just right click on this PC if you are in Windows machine right click on this PC go to properties advanced system settings 
go to environment variables and here we can see the system variables okay yep keep the screen like this and you just go to this ce program files java jdk go to this jdk folder and copy the path copy this path go to your system variables click on new and write as java java underscore home in the variable name that should be in uppercase java underscore home and the value is the one what you have copied c program files java jdk and the version just copy it and paste that here copy this path and paste it after that you just click on ok that's it done you can see it now step 2 now go to bin folder bi and build folder and copy this copy the path just if you are working on windows 10 then the screen will be same exactly how you are looking on my screen it looks the same go to your path path and give the path here just click on new and go ahead and give the path it will look like this here and just click on ok that's it I can click on ok fine now just go to your command prompt and check as java space iPhone version now definitely it should give you the path or it should replace saying that what is the version is available and all those things if it is still not saying it restart your machine it will work okay this is step one we have done it now step two eclipse ide download go to google once again and say as download eclipse ide for java ee developers you'll get the very first link just click on that eclipse.org and to the left side we have different packages neon put on oxygen just you can select this oxygen package it's the latest one and here we can see the second link saying that eclipse id for java e developers just click on that and to the right side you can see the download links if you are working on windows machine just select windows 64 if you are working on mac machine just select this mac and download it download and unzip it download the file and unzip it once we download and unzip it i have already uh, downloaded it and have unzipped it eclipse neon you can see that sorry eclipse oxygen you can see that just go to the folder you will be getting eclipse.exe this one and you need to open eclipse using this fine what is the use of Eclipse guys? First let me explain you what is the use of Eclipse. 